we have looked at uh, uh, Mark chapter 11, and we have seen that <laughs> Christ is the owner, is the creator, and he determines what happens to that object, personality, he determines it. Now, going down, Christ put some few things when Peter asked him. I think it's in verse uh, 22. When Peter asked him, or told him, or called his attention to the tree that he caused in the, in the morning, that that tree is now, <laughs> it's now withered. He now went into some lectures about faith. And I need us to look at it so that our people will know what it really meant. Okay. So, uh, I will start from 20, the next, which is the next morning. Okay? Yeah. From 20, and, it's, and in the morning, as they passed by, they saw the fig tree dried up from his roots. And Peter calling to the member said unto him, Master, you know, the fig tree without cosset is with that away. And Jesus answering said unto him, Have faith in God. Hey, I'm coming, I will read it all. I want us to be able to sow because what Peter, because I've heard somebody say that Jesus had faith in God. That what this next thing I am going to read is about Jesus having faith uh, in God. And Really, what does Christ mean? Uh, if we go from verse 23 to 25 now. He said, For verily I say unto you, that whatsoever, whatsoever say, shall say, whatsoever sorry, whatsoever shall say unto this mountain. You see, he has said whosoever. Oh, he, didn't, he didn't say Christian. He didn't say Muslim. He didn't say shaman. He was saying whosoever. Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he said shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he said. Therefore, I say unto you, all things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. So, the question is, is this not true for people who go for prayer and start demanding from God that I have faith? And oh, so what does this mean really for, for our people so that they, our people will really know what it means so that they will not be confused in art? Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Um, verse 22. Maybe... Maybe this is the best place to start, sir. <laughs> yes. Yes, I can see. Have faith okay. in God. Have faith in God. Uh, the word faith, faith, sir, yeah. has been abused okay. and distorted so much that people don't even understand what it means again. Oh. That word faith. Faith, sir, in simple English, is simply confidence and trust. Have trust in God. Have confidence in God. Trust in God. Believe in God. That is, that is what that place is. Trust God. Believe God. Rely on Him. Faith, sir, is not you waking up and Not saying having confidence that, in yourself yes and saying that look i am i i, I am going to have a plane in the airport my own plane by this time tomorrow that is not faith faith is not saying look uh, even though I'm 70 years old, 
uh, me, Muhammad Ali was of my height and of my weight. I am going to challenge the next <laughs> heavyweight champion, <laughs> heavyweight champion of Britain to a duel because I have faith. My faith is enough to flood the person. Faith, sir, must be faith in God. Must be trust that you have in God. God. Mm. That is that, sir. That is actually that. Those uh, four words, they actually explain every other thing on in in, in uh, verse twenty three, verse twenty four, verse twenty five. Mm. Mm. The faith must be in God. <laughs> yes, yeah, there's, there's another word, sir, that I want to draw your attention to. The okay. word is presumption. Presumption. Presumption, yeah. Presumption, yeah. Presumption. Presumption is almost like the opposite of faith. It is, really. So It is, it is you depending on uh, presuming that this... Go on, sir. Yes, yes. If you are not careful, if you are not careful, instead of having faith in God, what you have is presumption. Uh, my people, they will tell you that you you you, you build you are building castle in the air. In the air. <laughs> yes. You you just believe that whatever you say with your mouth, that is faith. Some 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 sports people nowadays. If you ask them, oh, how come you you succeeded in your in, in your sport? They will say, oh, I happy, I, I believe in myself. Oh yes, uh, I, I, in fact, some people say, trust me, when they want to ask you to do so. Okay. No, that is not Jesus. Is not that is not what Jesus is saying. You see, sir, you cannot have faith in God unless God specifically said something that you can have faith in that you, you you hold on to that this is what you said yes oh yes if god never said anything you can only have faith in god based on whatever god has said to you Aha. And that's what i want to say to you to you uh, i want to sir i want to i want to draw your attention yes so what happened to jesus christ Joining this temptation. And I want people to learn from this. Uh, in that Matthew, uh, uh, I think Matthew chapter 4, when Satan yes. said to him that, uh, that it is written, uh, no, is it, is it, I can't, uh, when he said that uh, if he jump up, it, it, um, it was quoting Psalm 91. Yeah, from, from, the, from the top of a mast or mountain, if you yes. jump down. Yes. That, that it is written concerning him that the angels, we... Uh, that God charge to the angels. Do you know that uh, people do a lot of it? Let's learn, okay. from what Christ, let's learn from what Christ said. Christ yes. said, because you said presumption, Christ said... Yes. That uh, it is written, you shall not test the Lord your God. You must not put the Lord your God to the test. Yes. So uh, you have to be very careful. You said something very, very important that when God said this to you, you hold on to it. You stay by yes. it. That is faith. But that is faith. If he says it to somebody else, and you are you cannot grab, it. grab it. You are appropriating it to yourself. Yes. And you are saying your faith is on it because God has said it to somebody, which you... Uh, so thank you for very much because you use that word, presumption, and that is what causes a lot of people to say, this is what you have said, and I'm standing upon what you have said, I'm standing upon the word of God, this is uh, going to happen, this is presumption. It generally leads to failure and yes. heartache. Yes. If not heart attack. <laughs> yes, oh, yes. Because, because people have created uh, what you might call expectations for themselves 
that expectations that are not based on word of God to them. And they have built uh, scenarios that social thing was just going to happen. I, I, was, uh, I was visiting with a, with a new Christian in her office about two or three days ago. And, he, he, and she was telling me uh, her man of God told her she, she, she had a, a kindergarten, a babysitting, small business in her flat. And she was running it. She was making some little money. She was taking care of herself. And then uh, the man of God, Kotan of God, <laughs> came and told her that, look, uh, in the next two or three months, you are going to have your own house. The only thing you, you must do is simply give me the rent. Give me the money for the next rent. You have to do that before the rent is due. And once you do that, within a month or two after you do that, you will be moving from this place to your own house. Uh, do, and does she believe, uh, did she believe him? She did. Oh my. She did. Oh my. She did. She gave the man her rent. She did not only give the man her rent. The parents that were that the, you know working parents that had given her their sons, their daughters to look after, that were paying for everything. She started telling those ones, please look for alternative place for your for your son or for your daughter. Because I'm moving to my new house uh, in the next two or three months. Uh, Those ones, they beg her to no end. No, please don't move. Please, you are, you are good with our children. Continue taking care of them. We don't have any problem with you. No, no, no. You know I'm moving to my house. And where the house is, is going to be, is not going to be near you here. So please... <laughs> Look for alternative place. So people withdrew their children. So the money that it was coming in ceased. So I think it was said to be July or so of that particular year. <laughs> July came and went. Nothing. Uh, excuse me. Let me ask you. The man asked for the next rent. Did she yes, pay? Sir. Did she not now pay another rent to the to the landlord? Where will she get another rent? <laughs> <laughs> okay, All right now. <laughs> Where would you get? The, <laughs> Where would you get? <laughs> I'm sorry. Yes, yes, yes. You see us right now, it's, it's funny, <laughs> the foolishness. Yes, she has given the money to the man of God. Thank God. The so-called man of God has taken the money away. So when July came, oh, nothing to pay for the rent. Okay. And no, no, nobody has ever has given her any new house of her own. Uh. So <laughs> the, the first month, the second month, When the pressure became unbearable. <laughs> is she still in the is she still in the ministry? No, no, she she's in the private sector or something. So she's uh no, I mean in the in the church of the man of God. That's oh yes, saying. of course now. She's still oh, there no. now. Oh no, not again. Of course, not again. <laughs> she has uh, I, I think she has learned her lesson. This, sir, you see, at the end of the day, the, the sad thing is that she's not alone. The sad thing is that that scenario is, is repeated thousands of times. So it is, it is the man that is blessed physically. All of them, they are, they are in ruination. The others are yeah. in 
they are in rain because they they, they, lo they lose their possession, giving it to this man. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. You see, that, 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 that scenario is repeated hundreds of times every day in these in this fake churches in Nigeria, from these fake men of God. They come and tell people things that God never said. Right. And they say and they say it was God that said it. So they 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 build people's hope. They allow people to say, okay, you can put faith in what I've said. Yeah, but those people, listen, please, yes, please, 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 please. You cannot put faith in what in no, in what man says. You can only put faith in what God has spoken to you. You can go on, sir. Because we have to it's, portray it, it and is, tell. Yeah, the sad thing is that these people mentioned the name of God. They say it was God that told them to tell the people that this is what shall be. And people can therefore put their hope and their faith in it. And before you know it, they will get a new house. They will get a new wife. They will get a new car. They will get a new anything they are asking for. They, they will not be... A, 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 uh, they will not be reconciled to God. Though. They will just get. No. They will no. just get uh, yes. material things. They are just getting material things. You see, that that is part of the issue of presumption. Okay. That if uh, ask me, sir. Let yes, me sir. let me. We this is just an addendum. It's not. Yes. It's not anything. Can you please help me open Ephesians chapter four? Ephesians chapter four. Chapter four. Okay. Let's look. What, what, what my brother is going to open is going to tell us what people who are in leadership in the church, what yes. they must do for the congregation. This is what they must do for the congregation. Uh, yeah. So that you know exactly why they are there. They are not there to prophesy to you. They are not there to uh, give you any from eleven uh, from from eleven uh, okay let's from twelve really uh, just uh, yeah so that one can you highlight it sir okay uh for, I can highlight from eleven yes eleven yes let, let us say you have apostle let us just say the, let us say you have prophet let us say you have evangelist pastor and teacher let us say I want you to pay attention from 12. Yes. The reason why Christ gave those things is the for perfecting of the saints, for the work yes. of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of, of the Christ. Of Christ. Yes. That is that till we come into the unity of faith and yes. of the knowledge of Son of God, unto perfect man, unto the measure of the status of the fullness of Christ. Yes. Listen, the reason why this one was given verse 14 is very very important that ends forth brothers and sisters listen ends forth we ends forth be no more children tossed to fro carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slight of men and cunning craftiness whereby they lie in wait they lie in wait you see Go and read it yourself. If any man of God come to you and is not identifying you in that way, please desist. Yes. Run, 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 run. If uh, what he can tell you is about uh, somebody is trying to kill you or somebody is... Uh, run! Run! Read, tell him. Open Ephesians chapter 4 from verse 12 to 14. Tell him that this is what you must do. If you can't do that, go. Thank you, sir. I just want to put that at the end. No, it's, can... it's, 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 thank you, sir. Thank you for 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 bringing people's mind to this place. Thank you. We are very grateful, sir. If we go back to Mark chapter eleven. Eleven, yes, so that we can we can finish that. <laughs> yes, uh, that is uh, have faith in God. 
Yeah, that's so where you stop. The but issue you... must be faith in God. Not in man. And not in man. Not in man. Not in their and empty promises. Faith in God unless God has spoken to you. If God has not said anything to you, Mr. ABC, this one is for you. <laughs> Please. It, the, the what you can the, the people do not know that presumption is a sin when it comes to it's God. Sin. Oh, it's in the um um uh Psalm Psalm 19. Save okay. me from all my presumptuous sin. Is there? Yes, Presum presumptuous sin. So that where, what God has not said, we do not go about saying that God has said that. We stay, we stay within what God has said. The Bible says that the judge shall live by faith. The judge shall live by whatever God has said. Yes. It, it's, not that we, it's not that we build castle in the air. It's not that we heap presumption on ourselves. And we are trying to live on the basis of our own presumption. And we think that God is bound to, to bring our presumption to fruition. It does not happen. <laughs> it, it doesn't happen. do. It doesn't yes. happen. The, the moments are you. The moments are you handle verse twenty two of uh, Mark chapter eleven clearly. Mm. Are you with me, sir? Yes. The, the verse twenty three, verse twenty four. They begin to fall into place. Yes. Yes. If you can because understand you know, verse twenty two, then yes, twenty three and twenty four. Will not be uh, they fall foreign place. to you. Yes. <laughs> you, you know that you can only ask a mountain to move if God, if has, God has told you to say so. Mm. Yes, sir. Some years ago, I used to ask my friends in the FCS and these other fellowships because they'll be quoting, you can, you can tell the mountain to move. One day I <laughs> called one of them. Please come out. There's a mountain at the back of this. Uh, <laughs> come and help me to move it to. Yes. From Abuja, I had that mountain to move to the sea. The man said, yes, that he, he has been told that he can, he can say it. He can ask the mountain to move. Because the basic knowledge of the Bible, they do not have. Mm. Mm. That you cannot exercise faith. Excuse me, sir. You Abu cannot exercise faith. On something God has never said. Uh, what you are saying, sir, I will move us to another thing, which okay, I just sir. remember. And I okay, think uh, uh, we must. Uh, uh, James chapter 5, verse 17. Because James, they used, yes, they used to say something, uh, chapter 5, verse 17. Okay. Yes. Elijah was a man subject, subject. to life uh -huh. passion. Yes. And he prayed anything. Yes, I my thing, sir. yes. I want to, okay. if I, the first one is what I want you to pay uh, attention to. He prayed earnestly that it might not rain. <laughs> uh, there is Let something called. Let me remove this, uh, this thing. I don't know why it's here. Okay. Yes. He, uh, he prayed, uh, it might not rain. And it rained not on the earth by the space of three, uh, three yes. years and six months. Yes. You see, I want you to stop there. I want that 17. Then I want us to go to uh, First King, sir. Okay. And verse, chapter 17. Okay, sir. Mm -hmm. There we are. Okay. Do you remember that in James, he said he prayed earnestly? Yes. Okay, look at what he says in, the, in this. So now Elijah. Yes. Uh, no, no. Verse 1, sir. Okay. He said, Elijah the Tishbite, yes. who was the inhabitant of Gilead, said unto him, as the Lord God of Israel liveth, before who I stand, there shall be no shall dew, be dew, nor rain this year, but according to my word. That yes. one did not say that he prayed, though. 
<laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying? James, yes, who, who understood this said he prayed. Yes. Uh, uh, so when people are teaching this false king, chapter uh, 17, verse 1, they can link, link it to uh, Mark 11, 24, without looking at 22. 23 and 24. They will not look at 22 to have faith in God. Okay. They will not say you can say anything. But at my word, that is what led them to say if I be man of God. But please go to a chapter later, which is uh, chapter 18, sir. Okay. Uh, and I want us to look at. Uh, 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 verse 30, uh, 36. Okay, we are there. Okay. And it came to pass at that time of the offering, of the evening sacrifice, that Elijah the prophet came near and said, Lord God of Abraham, Isaac, and he said, let it be known this day that thou art God in Israel. The last phrase is what I want you to look at. And that Please, I am thy servant. That I have done all these things at thy word. At thy word. I have done all corroborating James that he prayed. He had yeah. from God. So everything he was doing is from God. Was at the word of, was at the word of God. It's as he was told. Said. Yes, sir. Because as he was told. Yes, sir. As True prayer, sir. True prayer, yes. sir. True prayer, sir. Are you with me, sir? I'm with you. True prayer is God speaking through your mouth by his spirit to himself. Yes. Yes. That is what the Bible teaches. Yes. True prayer. True prayer is not you speaking to God. To decide that I'm going to pray this, I'm going to pray that. Mm. True prayer is God by His own Spirit speaking through your mouth to Himself. Yes. What you must pray for must be put in your mind mm. by the Spirit of God. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you are simply talking to the empty air. <laughs> empty air. Yes. No matter no matter how you jump, like uh, no. like the uh, uh, bar worshippers earlier in that they were jumping, they exactly. were cutting themselves. Exactly. So true we, prayer. Yeah. True, true prayer is God speaking to Himself. You see your call. You see your That's your that's, that's, that's exactly what Romans eight. 27 says. Exactly. About 26 and 27, that's what it says. That not, is, not shabalaka, the general, general description of prayer in the Bible. Mm. If, if You see, people who do not know God, they think that you can manufacture these things. You don't know Christ. You don't have his spirit inside of you. You can just wake up one day and say, look, me, I'm a big man. I'm a man of God. I am your man of God. I am this. I am holy man. And therefore, I have decided that this is what shall be. Is that the reason why this, they say? You, will, you open your mouth and you will pray like this. Ara, ara. Because they do not know God. They don't know God. The people do not know that prayer is a subject that cannot be taught. In any school. <laughs> Prayer is a subject that, that, sincerely speaking, cannot be taught from any pulpit. Yeah, the pulpit. Yes. Human beings cannot teach it. It is the Spirit of God. That's what the Bible says. That it is the Spirit of God that helps our infirmity. Infirmity. Yes. It helps our infirmity. That we do not know how to pray. Uh, 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 wait, 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 wait. Are you quoting Romans 8, 26? 
Yes, sir. That is what is okay, there. Okay, when he says that, are you not sure that he's saying that when we are praying, we want to pray for rain to come? Say, oh Lord, let there be rain. Maskete, itaka, ruka, keke. Another person, sir, in another person, not very far from you, is praying that the rain must not come. Because when, if rain comes at that time, it will destroy his own, uh, his own uh, seed in the, in, the, in the farm. What's the meaning of that? He's telling God to hold firmament for himself. Yes. Oh, is it because Christ said that there should be peace on the sea? It can be Christ. It can be God. It, if, you are, if you pray without the Spirit of God guiding you what to say, another person is praying the mm. opposite prayer. In the same area, mm. that the mm. opposite is what is what is good for him. Another person is, is doing that prayer. <laughs> which, one, which, one, which one should God answer? Answer, Abi. When we pray that I have, I have to say there, there must be no rain, and it's very yeah. close to somebody's family. Say there must it's be a, rain. It's sharing boundary with you. It's the same sky. <laughs> it's the same, it's the same <laughs> <laughs> okay, before we close, sir, there's another thing. I just yeah, want to put it. So, we started June about three days ago. Okay. And you receive a lot of people. June is a month of this. June is a month of that. Which one is from the mouth of God? Uh -huh. Me, I don't know. Uh -huh. <laughs> me, I don't know because they have said so many of those things to me. I have I have stopped uh, even uh, responding or doing anything about them. <laughs> I I dare say, sir, none is from God. It's from the imagination of the man who come who is exactly. straight straight exactly. away. There's yes. no two ways to it. Uh, yes. Some some people are declaring uh, that this month uh, you can't declare. You you, you don't have you don't have that luxury to declare. No, those, you say, power, those power belongs to God, sir. That, yeah. that, that's part of God's sovereignty. You, you see, I, I listened to some years ago, I listened to, to a Christian brother, a pastor, talking about this uh, verse 23. You know, we are back to verse 23. I hope you can see it on your screen. No, it's not there yet. It's not there. Okay, let me quickly bring it. Because since we are finishing with, with uh, where we started, uh, so, uh, verse 23. Are you seeing it now? Yeah, uh, yes, now, yeah. Okay. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he said shall come to pass, he shall receive whatsoever he says. Hmm. The, the brother said, look, this verse 23, one person is praying that this mountain should move to the sea. Another is praying that in that part of the sea, he has a ship. <laughs> <laughs> and that the mountain must not move to the sea. Which one should God answer? Have you? Okay, sir. You are an accountant. <laughs> one accountant said to me one day, you know, we were, we were actually arguing about a price of something. And he said, look, there's no money. Money doesn't come from vacuum. If it doesn't come from A, it will come from B. Sure. If we spend money, that money has come from somewhere. So, yes, sure. Uh, if, <laughs> if I'm now praying that God should bless me abundantly with so much money, it means that money will live somewhere and come to me. Oh, sure, yes. Some people will be impoverished for me to be rich. Somehow, yeah. I think, <laughs> or, or maybe you have to give them value. I mean, if, if, no, yeah, no, no. if you're you not, are not thinking not... of giving them value, you are just thinking of money just arriving from yes, nowhere. Yes, yes. Oh, oh okay. Not... okay, that one is no, magic. I understand. No, no value. There's no value there. It is, oh, just, okay. it is just the thing they will be appearing in. Oh, in my I see. Account. No, that one is magic. That because one is magic. I need that money. I'm, I'm not, I'm, I agree it's magic. I don't, the truth of it is that it's, that doesn't happen. But the fact of the case is, what he's thinking is, Ed, is that 
the money appearing in my account meant it must have left somewhere. Oh, yes, of course. Sure. I must have impoverished that. Just yeah, oh, yes. Maybe, but that's what we are praying for. <laughs> that is what we are praying for. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. So, <laughs> it's a, it's a, the, the, say to the mountain is if God has put it in your mouth, that you must say so to the mountain. Mm. If he has not, if he has not, you can say you can say to the mountain, a lot of my people in Abuja mm. here and in Nigeria in particular. They have been talking to mountains <laughs> for the past 40 years. <laughs> or oh, more than 40 years. <laughs> yes, <laughs> for, for more than 40 years. They've been talking it, to mountains. None I, has moved. I think it is Kenneth Higgins who, who, who popularized this. Okay, I see. Yeah, it's Kenneth Higgins who, who popularized it. Okay, I see. Yeah. It's, uh, a, it's, a, it's a fake. You see, when Christ taught people that uh, <laughs> you can pray like this, you can believe like this, they are forgotten that it started by having faith in God. Yeah, yeah. They are forgotten that the starting point is faith in God. You, it, whatever you do must be based on what God, God has said. said. Yeah. It, it, well, it, we, it's not, it's we not must not finish. And then, we must then not... some people, they say, sorry, sir, sorry, sir. They, you know, you, you quoted some people saying that uh, Christ did not qualify who could say it. Yes. That anybody, anybody could simply anybody open so. and start talking to Monte, <laughs> whether you are a Christian or whether you are not Christian. Let me say something before we close up. Mm. Faith is only available to Christians because faith is a fruit of the Spirit of God. Spirit of God, okay. Mm. 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 <laughs> faith, faith is only available to only people who who since have been forgiven can mm. have faith. And faith actually, is, faith, faith is not something you get in the streets. And actually, it's, sir. Yes. That those even the the the, the scripture is spiritual material. That it is the Holy Spirit who can really give us the right interpretation. Oh, yes, because it is. some people are also you see. Just in the light of this, they go to John chapter 14 and verse 13. Uh, 13. Say, so whatever you yes. ask in my name, they are forgotten what is coming from upstairs. Yeah, let, let me see if I can get that place where the Bible says faith is a fruit of the Spirit. I think it's in the, um, I think it's in the Ephesians or something like that. Uh, uh, um, okay. It's, hmm. Efficient, uh, it's a chapter five or so. For the fruit of the spirit of goodness, righteousness, and truth. Oh, no. uh, Is it that in the Ephesians or Galatians? Okay, let me check. Let me quickly check Galatians five. Because, yes. because all those things are things that people need to really understand and yes. not just for fall into any any trap. Yes. Yes. I think it's uh, it's in the Galatian chapter five. Okay. Verse twenty two. Twenty two, sir. Mm. Aha, you can see, sir. But the foot of the spirit, yeah. It's love, peace, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith. Faith. The fruit of the spirit. <laughs> it's, a, it's the fruit of, of the spirit. Yeah. So, somebody who is not a Christian, who, you know, you are saying that uh, uh, people are saying, well, Christ, can whosoever, say. yes, oh. whosoever can say to this mountain, uh. the, the mountain will obey. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> they, are, they are misquoting, they are, they, are, they are quoting Christ wrongly. Uh, I right. see. They, as if uh, anybody can simply exercise faith. Some people tell you that they are exercising faith. I hope you have had that. Uh, that I know uh, that. Faith. Yes, they say I'm exercising my faith on this. No, no. Exercising faith. You can, how can you exercise faith on what God has never said? Uh, in fact, you see, there is a. Can, can you open uh, John chapter 14 and verse 13 as well? Because all this one goes together. When they teach it wrongly, John 13, 
Yes. And whatsoever yes. you ask in my name, yes, that I will do, that the Father may be glorified. Yes. And 14 who, said, was, who, 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 who was Christ talking to? He was talking to his, the apostles, to the disciples. Yes. So, yes. At, at, and, even, and that one too was based on they remaining in him. If you abide in me and my words abide in you. Yes. yes. That, is, that is when you ask things. According to the will of God, yeah, it, is, it is God that gives you the will. God changes the will of man, man. when you become when you become a real Christian. He changes your will. Yeah. Your will. Your will is no longer as uh, as my as my cousin used to say, <laughs> uh, David Oedepo. Uh, he would say that you 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 shine forth. How can you so, you, that, so that you can shine? Your will is not about shining. No. In the no, society. No, no. Your will is doing the will of God, doing the mind of God. It's not about me showing how majestic I am. Mm. And it is God himself that is doing it through you. Yes, and it's God that is doing that. So when you read uh, John chapter 14, verse 13, whatsoever you shall ask in my name, that whatsoever is not you generating <laughs> things. And you ask, start asking things. You just you think you can enforce Changes in the, in but, the on the earth. But my brother, really, we saw the uh, acts of those people that Christ spoke this one to directly. We saw yeah. they, they were they were not asking for nonsense. They were not no. asking. No, they never asked for anything. They never asked for anything. Anything. That would anything. Bring out their glory. Yes. Everything was about the glory of God. Yes. Yes. The, the, the people that Christ spoke. Uh, John this one too. <laughs> yes, it was about the glory of God. Yeah. Even when they were being killed. Yes. yes. The glory of God was the issue. So they never, they never say, oh, well, uh, let me ask for the head of the emperor. Or let me ask for horses. <laughs> let me ask for palaces. Let me, let, let my glory shine. You, you know, we have uh, such, we have such in Nigerian churches. It has another thing, you know, as a man, any glory, as any man has glory, I don't believe that any man has glory. No, sir. No, sir. No, no man. It's always, it's always, uh, it's always when you do not know God that you talk about your glory. All right. Thank you so much, sir. We have seen the major part of that thing is have faith in God. If God does not say it to you, 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 you are just wasting your time. We gave you the example of uh, uh, James. We gave you an example. I mean, we know that, uh, uh, I mean, in James, we know that James was close to Elijah more than, we, more than we are. So we can't just plug that in. And we saw that James actually said to us that Elijah prayed earnestly. He said it, he prayed earnestly, which means he was in, he was in spiritual conversation with God. So he didn't just do those things. So if you take First Kings 17, you take it above face value, but at my word, it's not his own word, though. He actually said in that verse uh, of uh, First King 18 that I did all this, all, all at thy command. And we have to be, be careful. Our brother has told us so many things, so many truths in this, and we have seen uh, that prayer is God. Spiritually speaking, using use to speak his word to him back to himself so that he might perform it. In fact, that's what uh, Romans 8 27 says that, and the spirit prays for he prays according to the will of God. And when it is his will, those things are performed. And another thing, faith only be <clears throat> belongs to believers, it doesn't belong to any other person because. When the Bible talks of faith, it's not talking of uh, trust in any other thing, but it's talking about your total trust in God Almighty, the creator of heaven and at the owner of heaven and at the owner of everything, having trust in what he has said. And that's the only way. If you don't have trust in what he has said and you're having trust in what one man says, the other one says, don't be deceived. 
don't be deceived. Uh, some people will say that uh, uh, you activate the faith in you. You don't activate any faith. It is the fruit of the spirit. Faith is the fruit of the spirit. So it belongs only to believers. And all those words that has been said there is that you will depend on what God has told you. If God has truly told you that, uh, speak to the mountain. Just as God has truly told Elijah that he should prepare that, pour water on it, on the stone, and fire consumed everything. So if it is what God has said, God will do it perfectly. If it is not what I said, we are going to come out from it with shame and so many and attic. Is it and what do you call the ache? Other ache? Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, attic and uh, <laughs> attic and uh, uh, well, you, you will just come out of it with with nothing, and that's 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 not going to be good for you. <laughs> That's not going to be good for you. Thank brothers and, brothers and sisters, sir. you need you need to read the uh, scripture with the eye of those people who read it in the first instance, how they understood it. We never saw Peter. We never saw John. We never saw Paul demanding those things that your G.O. are asking you to demand. They just say, with this peace be unto you. Thank you, sir.